at that particular time, with the hippies and all, we had our own costumes, our own clothes, we had our own art, we had our own poetry, we had our own music, we had our own books, what lifestyle. We, what didn't we have in there? What am I missing? We had our own plays. We didn't have our own movie. There was an audience out there that had never, had never really been addressed, you know, which was the young audience. And they just poured to the theaters to see it. We made uh, all of our money back in one theater in New York uh, the first week. I don't think I set out to make our own movie. I was just there at that moment, and I knew this audience existed. This movie went in and broke barriers that people were not ready to watch. Jack Nicholson was everybody's son. When he was killed, it was like killing your own child. Because many people said, well, why didn't you use a black in that part, or why didn't you use a Chicano, or why didn't, you know? And uh, I said, no, I, I wanted them to, you know, the people who were causing the problems were not those people. It was the others. And I said, what do you mean? I said, well, check, check it out. Look out the window. Tell me we haven't blown it. Look out the window of your life. Look at it carefully. Look at this war. Look at these, this bigotry, this intolerance, and tell me we haven't blown it. We're messing with the environment. This is way back where people did not want to talk about that. We have blown this in a terrible way. And if we don't get it together, it's never going to come back. When I was putting together the story, this was the wrong area to touch. It was more important for us to touch our inner selves rather than our outer selves. 